Welcome back to the Web of Kettle series brought to you by Fogo Charcoal here on Chud's Barbecue, everybody. My name is Bradley Robinson, and today we're cooking up some sweet Italian sausages with peppers and onions on the Weber Kettle, and it is going to be delicious. Coming up! This is a pork butt. Pat it dry. Just your standard boneless Boston butt from the grocery store. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut this into some nice little strips. Actually, we'll go cubes. And this is just so they will freeze a little bit quicker and fit into the meat grinder. And in a perfect world, I'd be using 100% lean pork with some pork fat back to really dial in the fat ratio, but I'm not too concerned. Pork butt usually works out just fine for a meat to fat ratio, especially for a sausage like this. And there we have it looking nice. Into my freezer, these go for the next hour or so to get nice and chilled, nice and firm. That way we can get a really clean grind on them, but we don't want them frozen solid. So into the freezer they go. While we wait for our meat to chill out, let's go ahead and get our spices together. Starting with some kosher salt, some granulated garlic, some white sugar, some Italian herbs, black pecker pepper, some paprika, some freshly toasted and ground fennel, some ground coriander, red chili flakes, ground mustard, and our binder, which is some sea bind carrot fiber binder. Get that all nice and mixed up. Beautiful. Today I'm busting up a half horsepower meat grinder. A little bit smaller than my other one, which is a little bit more appropriate for this five pound batch of sausage I'm making. Now that our meat is sufficiently chilled, let's go ahead and send it through the grinder. If I remember to plug it in first. And through we go. Going through the coarse die today. But of course, you could go through the finer one if that's the texture you so desire. Completely up to you. And with a smaller grinder like this, that's why I went with little chunks instead of long strips, because it's just not nearly as powerful. Beautiful. Very nice. Next up, in we go with our spices. Give that a little cursory mix here, just to make sure everything is evenly distributed. And then in with our liquid, which today is some tomato juice. Kind of help out with the Italian flavor profile a little bit. And now we're gonna mix this by hand. I suppose I could bust this into a stand mixer with the paddle attachment, or I could bust out the giant meat mixer. But, you know, it's a small batch, it won't take long. But you just wanna knead it like a loaf of bread until it gets nice and sticky, nice and tacky. That way we make sure we have a really good bind on this sausage and it doesn't crumble apart on us when we throw it on the grill. Probably about seven to 10 minutes of this. And there we go, nice and sticky, sticking to the fingers. It's a good sign. And when we make a little patty, sticks to the hand. That's how we know we're done. Let's case this up. So cute. Boop. Going on with some natural hog casings today, per usual. Tie it off, snip the tip, and we case, and we pop immediately. Good day. Try that again, shall we? You can make these slightly longer than usual, but as always, you can make your wiener whatever size you like. I do like this little stuffer though. A little more easily manageable by yourself. Beautiful color on these links. Nice and plump. And just like that, we've got a whole bunch of thick Italian stallion size, big old sweet wieners. And yeah, this one popped on me and I don't care at all. So now into my fridge, these go uncovered just like this on a wire rack overnight. That's gonna dry out the casings, let all the meat chill down, all the spices hydrate, dry out these little ends so we can snip them apart and make sure all that meat is perfectly bound together. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. The grill is fired up, our peppers and onions are sauteing down. It's time to throw on these beautiful wieners and just look at these things, guys. Come on, beautiful, nice, plump, lovely color on there. Simply enough, we're just gonna grill them off. 
could do these in a pan, could boil them, could smoke them. We're gonna just straight grill them today. Gonna keep turning these pretty frequently here. Get them nice and cooked. They're inevitably gonna pop and start up a big old grease fire, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Gotta say, grilling some wieners on the Weber kettle. Just feels right. And there's a big beast over here just lounging about. Let's see if we can get her in focus. Yeah, there she is. What are you doing, buddy? Beep, 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 beep. This lid certainly does come in handy for stifling flare-ups. Tell you what, and look at all that beautiful smoke we're getting on these weens. <laughs> Love it. Always toast your buns, folks. Come on. Ooh. Boom, we got our toasted hoagie rolls looking absolutely beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and paint some marinara sauce on the inside. Why not? Oh, yes, please. And here come the bugs. Next up, we're gonna go in with some provolone cheese, cause why not? I said thin slice, but this is pretty thin. Thick. Not complaining. Oh yeah, just get it nestled in there real nice. And then in we go with our beautiful piping hot Italian wiener. And of course, we're gonna top that with some of our beautifully sauteed down peppers and onions. Definitely got a little toasty on some of these, but that's the way I like it. Come on, folks. It's a classic meal for a reason. Because what doesn't look good about that? Am I right? Come on. <laughs> Little cross section reveal, some beautifully juicy snossage, some melty cheese, peppers and onions, grilled hoagie roll, little marinara in there. I think it's time to dive in. I gotta say folks, I'm pretty excited about this one. I haven't had a good Italian sausage in a nice squishy bun with some peppers and onions in a very long time. So without further ado, uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is so good. Mm, that provolone, the marinara coming through. Oh, that is so flavorful. Mm. <laughs> These bugs, I tell ya, so loud, so frustrating. This is a flavor bomb, folks. It's sweet, but not in like a candy sense, you know? It's sweet like the caramelized onions and peppers have a sweetness to them. The sausage has a bit of a sweetness to it, but not in an overpowering way. You know, it's more herby than sweet. Oh, oh it's so good. The fennel comes through, the squishy bun, the cheese, the marinara, all working together to create a perfect bite, I must say. Texture of the sausage, phenomenal. Easy to bite through, it's got that char-grilled flavor from that charcoal. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. So last night after I made these, I took one of those links and I threw it on the smoker because I was shooting another video and I wanted to see how this sausage tasted. And when I ate it by itself, I was not all that impressed, you know? It just tasted like a spicy sausage. That wasn't spicy. But when you combine it with the cheese and the marinara and the peppers and onions and that charcoal grilled flavor, I wouldn't change a thing. This is a keeper, for sure. Oh, mm, that is so good. Perfect balance of Italian herbs to salt. Very tasty, rich, deep flavor. Oh, this tastes like a classic New England barbecue. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know it's good because usually I'm a one bite and then off camera kind of guy, but this is my legitimate dinner tonight and I'm probably gonna tackle at least a couple of these because it's hitting the spot. So, so, so good. I think the biggest pro tip for this recipe is the amount of salt I put into the peppers and onions. I seasoned that thing like three different times while it was sauteing down because I've had this dish many times growing up and it's always been kind of bland and lackluster for me, but having properly seasoned veg with all the sweet notes that come out from the caramelization process, ooh, really works well. Oh, I gotta say folks, I'm loving these fresh sausages that I've been making lately, like the brat, this Italian. And by fresh sausage, I mean ones that haven't been smoked. You know, we skip the cold smoke, we skip the pink curing salt. It's just much lighter on the palate without all that heavy smoke flavor to it. Very tasty stuff. And you know, I'm just as much a fan of charcoal flavor as I am of wood flavor. So, highly recommend it. Not to mention that this is a perfect recipe for the beginner sausage maker because you could easily make this in one day. You don't have to worry about nitrates. You buy yourself a pork butt and use spices that you probably already have on hand for a wonderful weeknight dinner. Mm -mm. That is really good. Y'all definitely gotta try this one. But without further ado, I think it is time for the official taste test. So let me scoot some of these onions off to the side. Y'all beep, beep, beep. <gasps> Who's a good girl? All right, y'all, and that is it. That is how to make some absolutely amazing, sweet Italian sausage from scratch on your Weber kettle with some beautiful sauteed peppers and onions, a little provolone cheese, a little marinara sauce on a nice squishy hoagie roll that I highly recommend giving a try real soon. It's a super simple recipe, and it's better than anything you're gonna get at the local grocery store. And if you make a big batch of these, you can fax seal them up, pop them in your freezer, and have an easy weeknight dinner ready to go for any night of the week. But that being said, if you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that subscribe button and dropping a like on this video. I do appreciate it. If you give this recipe be try for yourself. Be sure to tag me on Instagram at Chud's Barbecue. I love to see what y'all are cooking. Big shout out to Felgo Charcoal. Thank you for sponsoring the Weber Kettle Series. And until the next time I see you, please go cook something outside. Please.